Hello everybody, my name is Brianna Martinson. I'm from East Tennessee State University. In the summer, I worked with Dr. Kevin Liu from Michigan State University on the simulation study of phylogenic trees. First thing to point out is this research falls under the computational bioinformatics field, which is an interdisciplinary field that utilizes computational methods in biology. Computational approaches are now sufficient to learning in the field of biology. You can conduct an entire experiment virtually and gather information just the same as if you were to go and do a physical experiment. One field in particular that benefits from the advances in technology is the field of phylogenics. Phylogenics is a representation of the evolutionary history of a genes, group of genes, gene products, or species of organism taxa. Taxa is the unit or leaves of these phylogenic trees. This is an example of a phylogenic tree. It is a three taxa phylogenic tree from the ABC, these leaves. So the research goal of this research is to investigate the types of mistakes the tree estimation algorithm makes. This is referring to the algorithms that make these phylogenic trees and lineages. My specific research question is how does the number of taxa affect the tree estimation algorithm fast tree by comparing the Robinson folds distance of the original and the estimated gene tree? I will be doing this with this methodology. I will be creating a tree with the program indelible seen visually in this step um, using the Jukes cancer substitution model. Each simulation study will contain 20 experimental replicate trees, so 20 trees. I will use the program MS to generate a tree under the coalescent model, again seen in this step. Then using these trees, I will use the program SeekGen to generate sequences from the gene tree seen in this step here visually. Use the program FastTrees to create estimated gene trees using the sequences seen visually in this step four. And then I will measure the topological error between the estimated and true gene tree with the Robinson folds distance seen here in step five. And this will be repeated for each model condition, focusing on the number of taxa with 10, 20, 30, and 40 taxa. The results of my study are seen here. In this first graph, and the x value you can see the x axis you can see the four studies that i did with the four corresponding colors and the y axis shows the normalized robinson folds distance which just shows uh, the type of error between all of them as you can see in this figure below the average is very close together i ran an anova of all the data and the anova p value of 0 0.98 also reiterates the fact that there is no trend between the amount of relative error and the number of taxa and then i also collected the computational data in this top graph you can compare the number of taxa in the simulation study, the four simulation study, and the runtime. You can see that there's a positive correlation between the number of taxa and the amount of time it took. You can also see in this figure below the amount of memory usage between each of the studies. And again, there is a positive correlation between the amount of memory used and the number of taxa, proving that this is a difficult computational problem. But as I mentioned in my conclusions, Fast trees estimation performance is robust to problem size. The complexity of the data from the combination of model conditions could have more of an effect on the accuracy than the quantity of taxa alone. And future researchers should focus on other model conditions such as birth rate, death rate, tree height, mutation rate, etc., rather than the quantity of taxa. So just to reiterate, this study falls into the field of computational bioinformatics, which utilizes computational methods in biology. And now with computational approaches, it is sufficient in learning in biology. So we can better understand biological problems such as phylogenic trees and lineages with computers. Thank you very much for your time. Of course, these are my references, and I would like to acknowledge the Summer Research Opportunities Program shop at Michigan State University, my mentor, Dr. Kevin Liu from Michigan State University, my graduate mentor, Ray Doku from Michigan State University, and my shop mentor, Matthew Murrow, also from Michigan State University. Thank